now perform internationally, but for the Ayub sisters, music began at school in Scotland. Oh, it was hugely important, it, not only the one-to-one the -one lessons that we were able to have with really, really spectacular teachers, um, but the whole environment, being able to play in an orchestra, being able to sing in a choir, play in chamber music groups and get coaching on a weekly basis. But a lot depends on where you live. Renfrewshire Council is one of ten authorities where they don't charge for music tuition and the only one in Scotland to increase funding this year. In the other 22 areas, musicians must pay for their music lessons. Anything from £100 to £500 a year. It's so important to uh, the well-being of, of children and social integration and all of these things. Uh, and I think it's unacceptable in 21st century Scotland that... Um, uh, children only can get access if they, uh, to music if they can afford it. It's just not acceptable at all. Hello. It's a complex picture and many believe only the Scottish Government can resolve it with a nationwide strategy. They already support the Youth Music Initiative to the tune of £1.6 million and reach a quarter of a million pupils. But for many, that's not enough. And there's more to lose than the next generation of musicians. There are colleagues that I went to school with who are now the best dentists, doctors, entrepreneurs, lawyers. And they went through all the grade systems, the, the festivals, the competitions and the lessons. I firmly believe that musical education enhances your life all rounded and you don't have to become a musician to feel uh, the benefits. Holly McLean, Reporting Scotland.